Right then, welcome back. Uh, today, episode 131, we're going to do a side job, side hustle. We're going to do building materials. Ooh, she sounds throaty. Ooh, I love a, I love a good twin stack. It's awesome. Um, building materials, side hustle. Basically, someone uh, has lost three loads of bricks. Uh, there's one there. There is one there. And there is one there. Um, all three have ended up in the river. I'm not sure how, because there's a lot of obstacles between bricks one, two, and three. Um, we have the International HX520. That's got a big crane on the back. And we've got the Navistar of the sawmill because we did the, deliver the consumables to the sawmill last time. So we kind of kind of joining the dots. I would like to say becoming efficient, but that's not actually, that's not true. Uh, we're about 800 grand in a hole, but we're working, we're working towards clearing out debts, making a bit of money. Um, so that's what we need to do. Work along that blue line, pick up three loads of bricks. Move the crane, move the navy start, load bricks, move crane, move the navy start, load bricks. You get the idea. That is the plan. That's what we're going to do. Um, it's not dodgy as such, but it's not without its risks. This is just sketch, isn't it? That is just not... Don't tip, don't tip, don't tip, don't... Oh, the thing's caught on the bridge! Uh, oh, no. No, no, no. There's no trees to grab hold of. They're all little trees. We won't be able to pull ourselves level. The wheels are off the ground. It's only the bridge that's kept it in that position. Mm, I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to get a truck. I'm going to have to get a truck to rescue the crane. I mean, I've got to drive the Navistar there anyway. Yeah, she's going to pull that one out of the ground as well. Um, well, I'll just have to go and get the Navistar. And just dump the trailer and drag it. There's no other... There's nothing else I can do. So, yes. International rescue uh, looks like this right now. Um, I'll see you when I get there.
Right, let's dump that trailer. Get rid of that. We will try not not to roll that over because if we roll that over the next truck's about three weeks away so that'll be interesting oh there we go look it had to go full roll didn't it just as we got there how much does that weigh what is the weight of our international hx 520 that's nowhere near no further back further back uh, yeah, international plus crane equals heavy. Uh, we have the high ground, which is a good thing. And there's only two winch points as well. It should pull that over, shouldn't it? Come on. Come on, be kind. Oh, God, we're just getting dragged backwards. Come on, right gear, mate. Make sure it's in forwards, not backwards. Yep, use the bank. Come on, use the bank. Flip it over. Yes, right. If I let go of that winch, will it just roll back down the hill and fall over? Mm, no. Apply handbrake. Right, let's jump back in the crane. Tintinashtal. Um, it's still dodgy. And we're traversing a slope, which means it'll just want to turn over no matter what we do. It's the legs. It's those bloody legs on the crane. That's what's caused it. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, we need to get on the bridge. Yes, we're just full of good ideas today. I'm going to use the crane on the bridge to pick up the bricks to put on the trailer and there'll be no side supports because they won't reach the floor. What a great idea. Beyond all you naysayers. That worked a treat. It's a good job it was a load of bricks and not concrete slabs or metal beams because the crane would have just fallen straight straight off the sides of the bridge into the water. But hey, 
What can we do? Right. I think I need to donate some fuel to that Navistar. Which... How much have we got in this? 212. Hmm. I think we need a little bit of a fuel transfer. Um, the Navistar's really low. 79. Yeah, just... One? Yeah, don't do any more. I think the Zeke... Zeke's, or whatever it's called, 612, is up the hill. I'll reposition the crane, and then we'll go and see how far away the big eight-wheeler is, uh, and he might be able to do a fuel delivery. Right, we'll just leave that there. We're going to leave it where it is, park it up, deploy the legs, and that should be enough to swing round, pick up the bricks, and load up said international. Right, where's the 612? There it is. Ooh, it's only at the factory. Well, that means... Oh, the service kit's empty, the trunk repair supply... So we've got 258 in that. Well, that's quite economical. I reckon I could get back to the petrol station with, what, 50? 50 in that. It doesn't use a massive amount, does it? Well, what's it back to the petrol station? Two minutes? Three minutes? 30 litres? 35 litres? Where have we got to get to? No, that's the crane. No, there's nothing else. Fuel station's down the way. There's no trailers. <sighs> there's a little trailer there, but it's a bit of an arse to get to, and I'll waste more fuel than I'll actually receive. Yeah, I just think I just need to go down to the Navistar and give it a bit of gas. question is, how much? Um, how much indeed? It's got 24... No, it's got 164 in it, we've got 248. Go again? No? Mm, I don't know if that's enough. 249... Uh, I, possibly. We've got to drive to Bricks 2. Then drive to Bricks 3, and then just back to the sawmill. The problem that we have is getting this back to somewhere where there's fuel, because that is a bought and paid for trailer.
Right, that will do just there. Uh, we now need to get it loaded. Um, so, all being well, this will reach and uh, we won't tip our crane over. Jobs a cod. Absolutely mega. Right, we'll pack this up uh, and we'll go and move this to Bricks 3. Uh, we'll get up this little slope. That might be a bit of an issue. The legs look like they're going to dig in on that right-hand side. Yes, there you go. Um, we should just be able to wiggle out the trees. There are trees up there. They might be a bit far away. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes, we're out. Right. I will go and plonk this near the third load of bricks. Um, I'll see you then. Right, done. Gonna leave that there. I'm a little bit worried I might be too far away, so I might have to reposition when I get the Navistar there. Um, it's just, there's a nasty left turn up the bank, so we've just gotta be careful, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Right, let's see. Let's see if our crane will reach. Yeah, well, we've cleared the tree. That's always a good start. How far out does she extend? Come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's done. Well, it was efficient. I can't pick that up and swing it onto the trailer. It just won't work. Right, repositioning required. I reckon we go back, what? 10 feet, 12 feet, that'll do. Back into crane mode and we'll get that on the back.
Jobs a card. Done. Pack that up. We'll move that out of the way. 88. Ooh, that's going to be tight on fuel. We might have to do a rescue mission. Mind you, if I don't need it for anything else, I could be cheeky and just recover it. That'd plunk it back in the garage, wouldn't it? It's cheating. Well, I guess it is cheating, but hey, we don't mind. Um, right, we need to get these three loads of bricks to the sawmill. I haven't packed that cargo. Wow, that was close. That was close. That's better. Right, done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, game designers, for not letting that slide off the back of my trailer. Right, to the sawmill. Done, 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 da, done, done, done. Well, it will be in a minute when we drop it off. Done, da, done, done, done. Come on. One, two, three, done. 20 quid. 30 quid. 1250 quid. Well, I guess it's better than a. How much fuel did we use? About 500 litres. Yeah, well. That pretty much. Pretty much sums up the task, doesn't it? Right, done. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing. All the usual jazz. Fingers crossed. I'll see you next time. Take care, stay safe. Peace.